Welcome to Ample Blazer's video tutorial on how to enable or disable the administrator setting in your Microsoft Windows 7 user accounts. Now this account is the home account that you set up on a home computer, not on an office computer that is connected to a domain. So the first thing that we do is click on Start then go to control panel click on control panel if your control panel setting looks like this click on user account and family safety then click on user accounts then you will see a couple of options down the page go to manage another account if this isn't the initial account you want to change go to manage another account when you go to manage another account, you have all the accounts listed that you want to have a look at. The one that we want to change is the Ample Blaze account. So we click on Ample Blaze, and then you'll have the options down the left hand side. Now, to change the type of account from an administrator account to a limited access account, say if you have a child that wants to use the computer but you don't want them to install anything, or run anything that they're not supposed to, you go to this part of the windows and you go to change the account type. Click on that and then you have the options. You can click standard user or administrator. Okay? Now usually when you create a Microsoft Windows account from home, it is already enabled as an administrator, so they're allowed to install any everything and anything they like from the internet or from CDs, anything. Now to change that, you go to standard account or standard user. Click on that. As you can see with the standard user, standard account users can use most software and change system settings that do not affect other users or the security of the computer. So it sort of locks it down. When you are happy with that change, click on change account type. As you can see, now that has moved to a standard user account. This is again a good option when you have children or if you have a small office environment without a domain and you want to just give a bunch of users uh, access to a computer just to use it for internet or using the programs but no installation privileges just put it as a standard user thank you for watching